Oh man, I couldn't, I couldn't do this while I was injured on my left foot because it, it basically hurt too bad. And I missed, <laughs> I missed it. Just like, and it's good to go slow. Sometimes I forget that. Oh, 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 that's hot. And off we go, as exciting as the mountain run was yesterday. I know I gotta be careful, so heading back to the grass soccer fields, gonna do my loops, be smart, do the little things that make a difference for staying healthy and getting as fit as possible, which correlates, of course, directly to running uh, and running consistently and running often and running at decent volume. So it's all about those little things. So anyway, I'd love to just run straight from my house here after work, but I, I'm, I'm making the effort to drive. You know, it's only 10 minutes, but drive to the soccer fields and get on that soft surface uh, just because yesterday was a decent day. It was almost 13 miles, 4,400 feet of vertical gain in the Salming Trail 5s, which the more I think about the shoes, the more they're growing on me. And yes, I did give a first impression yesterday afternoon. If you haven't seen it and you're interested in an obscure running shoe company that is not very popular in the United States, at least at this point, uh, check it out. Upper right hand corner. All right, onward and upward. All right, everyone, we've got the Hoka Rincons with me today. And yes, they're available down below if you're interested in buying from Running Warehouse. There's a lot of buzz. I don't know if you've noticed, but on social media, a lot of buzz happening about these shoes right now. And if you're into maximalist, well-cushioned shoes, watch out. I have a feeling this might go down as one of the top shoes of 2019 with respect to the well-cushioned maximalist shoe uh, category. So anyway, I'm excited to take them out again. Uh, and I'm gonna go between a couple different fields here uh, in South Denver. So, all right, let's lace it up. Actually, no, I take that back, not lacing up. I'm doing the little things, the little things. So I'm actually gonna stay barefoot right now and go walking, okay? I'll explain what I'm doing here in a minute. Just walking around barefoot. All right, come on. All right, shout out to my brother for, uh, he encouraged me to walk around barefoot in my house more, which I'm starting to do. Now that the foot is healed, I've been avoiding putting too much pressure on it and putting it too far, uh, yeah, just pushing it too hard. So now that it's healed, and after yesterday's run, I truly believe it's healed, uh, now it's time to build, rebuild, strengthen. So that's what I'm gonna do, start doing today by simply walking around barefoot on this grass field. Uh, but another option for you is to find a, if you live by a high school, go to the sand pit where they do the long jump and walk, that's even better, like walking around in loose sand or if you live by the beach and just walk barefoot to strengthen all those little ligaments, tendons, uh, muscles in your feet. Uh, and just making them more, uh, nimble to different movements that can happen in spikes. You know, if you're racing cross country in the fall, um, it's good to get your foot used to uh, different positions and landing on different surfaces depending on the, the courses that you're racing on. So that is the beginning of the process right now. So you can just watch me walk barefoot. And believe it or not, it's, I'm not saying it's hard, but I have to retrain myself to trust that my left foot is completely healed because it was in the boot for so long and uh, it, it is a process to come back from any injury. So that is what we are doing today. I can sense that the foot is healed but that it's a little awkward, a little probably weak and it's just like I need to get it back uh, to full um, almost like hand-eye coordination, just making sure everything is firing correctly down there below the ankle. Oh, this feels really good. I can't say I've ever done this before. 
you figure out things every day, but this is like stretching out the ankles and the toes and oh, that feels good. Ugh. All right. My left leg definitely feels weaker and just not snappy. Just not snappy and that's okay. It'll come back, but it's just gotta, you gotta wake it up. You gotta wake, it just doesn't happen. You gotta, you, you gotta snap it. A little glute activation. All right, it's all in those glutes for that strong, powerful knee drive. Don't forget your arms. It's all about those arms as well, especially in trail running, late in races. Man, road running too, running in general. But man, I, I notice in trails, if I can focus on my arms, it makes a difference. Some rock climbers working on that hip flexor with this one. Ooh, haven't done this in a while. All right, just a, just a few shots there on the run, not too much. Kind of in a hurry to go get a little food for the family, uh, but we're gonna have another spring energy here in a second, the long haul. Oh man, they are tasty. Okay. Oh man, I couldn't, I couldn't do this while I was injured on my left foot because it, it basically hurt too bad. And I missed, <laughs> I missed it. Just like, and it's good to go slow. Sometimes I forget that when you're using the foot log, but it basically just a nice massage, kind of, I know it's doing some good, good for the foot, but it also just feels good. It's like, especially after a, a long run. <laughs> oh man, it is toasty, everybody. Whew. All right, giving this other, sh this is the spring long haul version. Oh wow, that's interesting. Oh, it's like a peanut butter. Oh, wow. Oh, so this is designed for, I would say, like long races, like ultra races is, is what they're advertising it as. Oh, my, my. Oh, that's tasty. Oh, man. It's like a, it sounds weird, but it's peanut butter. And then it kind of kind of has like a little apple. Yeah, a little apple taste, mango taste mixed in. Ooh, Nelly. Mmm. Oh, that's really tasty. Wow. Mmm. Okay, that's really good. Mmm. That is what I'm talking about. All right, everyone, here we are. It is toasty in Denver, very warm, hence the water. Probably not as warm as where you're living. Like we people in, we people in Colorado, we get a little spoiled here being at higher elevation. So anything in the 90s feels very hot, but it's a good day. It was a great day. Just finished up a dinner on the patio with True Love. Just had some salad, delicious, remember? Little, I wanted a burger, right? I wanted a burger, but I chose a salad with some salmon, right? Get some good vitamins and minerals in the body. So I feel good about that decision. And today's run in the Hoka Rincons, <laughs> so hard to say that, Hoka Rincons, eight miles or 12 kilometers. I think it was about seven to 7.15 per mile. So picking up the pace a little bit, 
feeling good, just waking up those legs as you saw with the, the, uh, the form drills, just the baby, baby stuff, but little form drills just to get the legs moving a little bit. So I feel good about that. And in addition, I feel like I've made a shift since this last injury paying attention to the little details, the little action items that I can take every single day in order to train at a high level, a high volume, and stay healthy, okay? So today, out on the field, doing those little things. However, one of my goals today was to get to the gym and to go into the pool and to do some uh, stretching and core work and lifting in the gym. I didn't, it didn't happen. Life got too busy. Uh, so, Again, this is where the schedule comes into, comes into play, just getting down on paper or how, however you do your training uh, plan, making sure that you stick to your plan. And for me, I love to write it out and then I eventually plug it into a spreadsheet, but I missed it today and I feel a little bad about that not getting into the gym. So therefore, I will make sure I get into the gym tomorrow when you're watching this on Thursdays. And so what I'm saying is that because I'm healthy, it is now time to recommit to the training plan and to the tasks at hand. Commit to the process. It's all about the process as runners. Okay, we're gonna open up this box from Running Warehouse here in one second, but first the question of the day, what is one little action item that we can learn from you about whether it's uh, paying attention to the details of our training, uh, staying healthy in our training, what do you do? But make it small, okay? Because sometimes we get big ideas, like for example today, walking around a, a grass field barefoot. I feel like that's something that's pretty simple and small and something that we can all do. Uh, so what is one idea that you have for this YouTube running family to help us all meet our goals by staying healthy and doing the little action items. All right, sound good? Okay, here we go. Oh man, I, I, I cannot believe we're doing this right now. I was not gonna do this today. I was gonna save it, but I can't wait. I cannot wait. And you, I'm not gonna open shoes without you. I'm gonna commit to you right now. There's no way I'm gonna do that moving forward because you are part of this journey and you're part of this family and this YouTube channel. Oh my goodness. I've been waiting for this for a long time. And shout out to Running Warehouse. Thank you for this pair of shoes. All right, are you ready? Oh man, you probably just saw it. All right, can you make a guess? Can you make a guess what is in here? New Balance, oh, but what New Balance? You know, you know what New Balance it is. Oh, this was my 2018 running shoe of the year. You better believe it. The Beacon is in the house. This is the Beacon V2. Oh my. Oh, my. let me just soak it in for a second. The New Balance Beacon V2. This was my easy day shoe. And I wish I had the Beacon V1, but it's inside the house where Michael is sleeping in his nursery. And there's no way I'm gonna wake him up for that. So, oh my goodness. Okay, let's take this out. Hold on. Let me see how heavy this feels. Oh yeah, wow, Ooh, that's strong. Okay, so this is the New Balance Beacon V2. Oh my goodness, nimble, malleable. Wow, wow. Okay, this is exciting, very exciting, very similar outsole pattern, okay. I'm gonna stop there. I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching this channel. Pay attention to the little action items that we can take every single day. And yes, go learn. Don't go learn from me. Go learn from this YouTube family down in the comments because that is the wisdom. We've got people watching this channel who've been running for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, runners. So I know you're out there, veterans out there, share your wisdom with us. Oh, it's all good. I can't wait to go down and read the comments as well, and I'll do my best to chime in as much as possible. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Oh, see you tomorrow.